Hey everyone, it's Honda Nguyen. How's everyone all doing today? Alright guys, so today we're going to do an updated video here on how to use the SanDisk iExpand Flash Drive Go on the iPhone. Okay, so I've done this video before, uh, but it seems like a lot of people are still having questions on this, um, on this unit here. Okay, so we're going to do another video today. The first video I did was basically showing you guys how to use it, you know, to um, put the videos and a picture from the iPhone into this iGo right here, or the Drive Go. But we do have some viewers out there asking how can you uh, take the pictures and video inside this uh, Drive Go here and put it back onto the iPhone, okay? So... In this video, we're going to do both, so that way you guys know how to save it to the drive and from the drive, save it to back to the iPhone if you need those uh, pictures and videos. Uh, let's get started here. All right, so basically the main purpose of this unit right here, so if you guys haven't watched my um, previous video, then... Um, it's going to be focused on this unit right here. It's called the Sandis I Expand Drive Go. And what it does is it's an external memory that you can bring around, which is really, really convenient. And I use this every single day, okay? Because I do a lot of videos and all that stuff, and I need to free up uh, the space on my iPhone. So this unit right here is very convenient. You can bring it around. Uh, you just all you got to do is transfer it to this unit and you're good to go you free up your space on your iPhone and you got more space to use on your iPhone okay so that's what the purpose is but uh, today let's go ahead and show you guys how to download it to this unit and from this unit download it back to the iPhone if you ever need uh, those videos or pictures okay so first things first you guys want to download this this uh, app right here, it is called the iExpand Drive, okay? So you have to actually download that app first for this unit to work, okay? You gotta download it first before this is, is gonna communicate with your phone. So this time I'm gonna do a very in-depth, in detail how to use this unit, okay? Because like I said, we still got a lot of people confused on how to use it from our previous video. So uh, today it's gonna be a more in detail, in depth, and uh, so you guys, you know, basically know how to use it okay so first things first uh, like I said download the app and then all we gotta do is plug in the unit and then once you plug in a unit your phone should know right away that is asking if we can use this unit and all you gotta do is put allow okay so that way it, it lets us use it all right so once you um, allow it to let you go in into the uh, iPhone on this side, basically this side is telling you how many gigabyte you still have left on your iPhone, which is almost filled up, right? It's all red, so I need space. And then this is size telling you how much space you still have for the um, SanDisk Drive Go, all right? That unit that uh, you saw earlier. So we still got a bunch of um, a bunch of space. So when the red goes all the way around, that when we have that's when we have no more space, but we still got a lot. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to copy uh, some five videos and pictures from our iPhone into the Flash Drive Go, okay? So in order to do that, we're going to go ahead and press Copy Files. Okay, so you guys see that? Copy Files. So we're going to do that. And then once you put Copy Files, there's going to be two options. One is Copy Photos from iPhone well you can copy photos and videos or you can copy files from iXpand okay so this this second option right here we're gonna do it later because on my previous video I did not do this one so people had a lot of questions about it okay alright so from for right now we're gonna do the first one first so once you tap on that now it's gonna access your library your photo your video library okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select the first three photos up here that I just created here. And we're going to transfer these photos from my iPhone 
to the unit okay so all you got to do is tap it okay so once you tap it there's a, a red check mark and then on the bottom it's going to say copy to i expand drive so it's very very simple guys now all we got to do is just tap on that and then once you tap on that there's going to be like a bunch of photos that you can put it into or you can make a new photo uh, so I'm going to make a new photo so you guys uh, know how to make one later. So on top here it says create new folder. So you guys want to tap on that. And then there's going to be a screen that pops up and it's going to ask you to add a name for that photo. I'm going to put it as testing or test. Okay, so I don't confuse it with my other photos or folders. And then once you're done with that, you press OK. All right, so when you got it, got it in, now it's going to sh show you that this blank folder right here on top, it says test right there. You guys see that? It says test. So this is where we're going to put the videos and pictures into this folder. And on the bottom, it says copy here. So what you're going to do is press copy here. And it's copying, and you guys can see on top, it was really quick because the um photos and video were very short okay if you have longer video it does take time but uh in this video i just wanted to put a very small video and some photos so it's quick okay and then once you once it got downloaded to your iDrive or a go drive i expand drive say it says here i expand drive just copy three items delete these items from your phone to free up 21.5 megabyte of space all right, so our purpose is to free up space, right? So, of course, obviously, we're going to go ahead and delete it from the iPhone. So, go ahead and tap and delete. And then we're going to go ahead. It says allow iDrive to delete three items. Yes, we're going to go ahead and do that. Bam, it's deleted, okay? But actually, it's not really deleted from your iPhone yet. You got to go to the delete section of your iPhone to permanently delete it, okay? So, remember that, guys. But in this purpose, just showing you guys how to... Uh, transfer the videos over into the i uh, i expand drive and then all we got to do now it says free you freed up 21.5 megabyte of space on your iphone and now all we got to do is just press great and then we're done we're done guys that's how you guys do it very very simple when i first bought this unit i didn't know how to do it either uh, but uh, playing around with it for a while I kind of got the basic of how to use it and I only use it basically like I said just to download it to to the drive uh, this free up space on my phone that's about it okay okay so next one guys but what before we before we go to the to the second option from um, you know copying the uh, I expand drive back to the iPhone before we do that let's go to this let's go to the back option here okay on top the reason why I want to go back is because I want to I want us to go to view files real quick. You see view files? We want to go here because we want to check out the photos that we just copied to the iExpand drive. So you guys know that's in the drive now and not on the phone. You got it? Okay, so let's do that. So one So once you tap on that, it's going to lead you to all these right here. Okay, these are all my photos right here. But the photos that we just created is this photo right here called test. You guys see that? So we're going to go ahead and tap on test. And you're going to see the three photos and videos that we downloaded right here. Is this three photos right here, okay? You guys see that? Now it's now it's on the drive and it's there. So that's it. That's how you guys view the photos that you guys just downloaded into the drive. All right, let's go back out. And now the second uh, option here, uh, we're going to go back to copy files, okay? This is the main main screen here. Uh, copy files. And then instead of doing copy photos from iPhone, we're going to go copy files from iExpand drive. And this is the, the second um, step here that I did not do on the previous video so some people still have questions on how to transfer the photo and videos back onto their iPhone and this is going to be the step right here so you guys see copy files from iExpand drive let's go ahead and tap on that and then once we tap on that 
You guys are gonna see all these folders right here, right? But we're looking for this folder right here. It's called test. That is the folder that we created earlier for us to copy the picture and video onto this file right here. So now we're gonna go ahead and tap on that. And then once we tap on that, you're gonna see one, two, three, these three, these three items here that we um you know that we uh, copy it to this unit here. So now we're gonna go ahead and tap on these three items again. And it's gonna say on the bottom, copy, you guys see right here, copy to iPhone. Okay, so if you guys are out there watching this video and you guys were asking this question, how to copy it back to your iPhone, this is the step right here, okay? So watch carefully. We're gonna go ahead and tap on copy to iPhone. And it says, oh man, my uh, my phone has low space storage. Your, your device will have 19 free space after this operation. Do you want to proceed? Okay, I'm going to go yes. Because obviously my iPhone was pretty full. But anyway, we're going to try to copy it back in to the iPhone. Press proceed. And there it is. Bam. Goes back into the iPhone, guys. Three files saved to your iPhone photo library. We're going to go ahead and press great. And it should be back into my iPhone now. All we gotta do is go back out of the out of the. Um, all we gotta do is go out of the the app, and then we're just gonna go to our photos, which is right here, camera, and then press that. And then, as you guys can see, they're back. You see, these three photos are back. Bam! Easy as is, guys. That's it. That's, that is the way to get your photos back into your iPhone. And like I said, I know I have a lot of people asking how to put it back into their iPhone. And that is a step, guys. So don't uh, miss out this step. Um, and then I'm going to give you a bonus um, step three. Okay. So let's say if you have this. Okay. You have the, you, you already downloaded it to the iExpand. Um, you know it's gonna get full right like you guys can see right here it's gonna get uh, full fill up so what I do is I buy a separate uh, drive that I'm gonna download it into that drive via my computer which is really really simple and the drive that I bought is this one right here it's an easy store let me show you guys real quick here and the drive that I bought is this guy right here this one has this one has a uh, about this one has 5 TB, okay? So it's really large. So that way I can um, transfer um, this unit right here, okay, into here so that way I can free up this thing, right? Because this thing is going to get a fill up and you're not going to have any more space. So what I do is I fill this to this, okay? So it's pretty straightforward. All you got to do is plug this into your computer, okay? And it's going to pop up onto your computer. And then you're going to go ahead and stick this also onto the other end. of um, you, you turn this all the way here and there's a, uh, there's a USB hookup into your computer as well. So what you do is you plug this in. Well, you plug this in or, or this one in first. It doesn't matter which one first. You plug them both in and they're going to go ahead and pop up onto your computer. And then once this one pops up. And you want to open this one as well. And then all you got to do is just drag all the file, uh, copy. Well, click on all the files. And then all you got to do is just drag it all over to here. And you're going to see it on your computer. And then once everything is copied on this machine here, then you can go to this folder on your computer and just delete it off. Okay, so that's uh, straightforward. Step three is to download items in here to an external drive or a bigger external drive because this one is 256 this one is 5 terabyte this is a lot more than this so what I do is I transfer all that over here and then I delete it from this one and now I got a full space again on this one and I can bring this around again and use it with my iPhone again leave this at home because it's bigger I don't want to bring it around and that's it guys that is it that is how um, you guys transfer your iPhone photos and videos onto this unit and also how you guys transfer the items in this unit back into your iPhone and then part 
three or step three is to transfer the items here onto this bigger unit to save it at home to free up the space for this um, this drive go right here okay so if you guys um, are interested in buying one of these items this one and this one uh, I will leave it in the description box the link to where to get uh, one of these items okay all right guys that's it if you guys have any questions or comment leave them down below and if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet consider subscribing all right it doesn't cost you a penny but it helps out my channel greatly and i really appreciate you all all right guys thanks a lot for watching and i hope this video helps you guys out on how to use the sandis iXpand drive go thank you for watching take care bye bye